enhanced recovery after cardiac surgery is an interdisciplinary process uh, involving a multidisciplinary team approach to care with the patient at the center, which in the end is a, a big gain in faster recovery, less pain, reduced opioid use, and improved traditional outcomes for cardiac surgery patients. We really tested the hypothesis for the first time in the United States that the ERAS principles, which had been applied to other surgical specialties, could be applied successfully to cardiac surgery. Once we educated the staff as to what ERAS was, and they quickly saw the outcomes that were potential for a cardiac surgery patient, uh, the buy-in was almost immediate. We engaged a person from every phase of care, from the beginning to the discharge, where those people knew exactly their role in ERAS, and they knew they were contributing to this outcome. So if you look at pain in post-operative cardiothoracic surgery patients, it's really multifaceted. So people have neuropathic pain, people have uh, somatic pain. The second arm of this is actually wanting to reduce opioid use in the public. We don't want to contribute to the opioid epidemic. And so we really want to choose multimodal analgesic regimens that work for the patient, that make them feel comfortable and help them improve post-operatively. But then also we don't send them out on something that could be addictive. In terms of intravenous milligrams of morphine equivalents in the first 24 post-operative hours, we had a significant reduction by 40%. Value-based care is essentially um, making steps always in the right direction. We may not always choose the right path, but we always will be analyzing the metrics, seeing what happens uh, to the patient, and, and not ever venturing into territory that we know would be detrimental. The biggest one would probably be related to postoperative ileus. When that's basically where a patient is not able to, to uh, have a bowel movement. And big complications like that happen from oftentimes opioid use. And with, with multimodal analgesia, where we used uh, lots of different medicines instead of just a primarily opioid-based analgesic technique, uh, we had less complications, and that's an improvement and a very, very big patient satisfaction. We were pleasantly surprised at such a large impact uh, over a relatively short period of time. We hope that uh, many of the positive changes will be sustainable over time. We also have identified ways to improve. This is a continuous quality improvement initiative. It's a platform with stakeholders from every phase of the patient's care. And we continuously receive input from all providers, all caregivers, and our program will evolve uh, year to year, month to month.